Welcome to another tutorial on Superimpose app. In this video, I will explain the tools under the Layers section. As you already know that in Superimpose, you work with two photos at a time in a project. These photos are called layers. One background layer and one foreground layer. Superimpose, X, supports a greater number of layers, but we can do a lot of things using just two layers too. Let me first load a photo to start the project. For my project, I need a portrait size photo. So, let me add one more layer with portrait dimensions. Now as you can see, this second layer is on top of the first one. But I want the gradient image to be in the background. So, I need to swap the layers. We can do that using the swap layers button here. Let's swap them. Perfect. Now we will position and mask the foreground. I am going to do the placement in the transform section. And mask it in the mask section of the app. To learn more about these steps, you can refer to the tutorial videos on transform and masking. Okay, now I want to add another foreground into it. But since we can only have two images at a time, I will need to merge down the foreground image into the background. That way we will get rid of the foreground and will be left only with the background. We can use this merge button to do the merge. Okay, I am now going to add another foreground from the mask library, which I have already masked before and saved it into the mask library. We have a new foreground now, which I am going to place in the transform section. This looks good, but I want to add a shadow. To create a shadow of the foreground, there is a built-in tool in Superimpose. Tap the cast shadow button here to use the tool. A shadow is created for us. We can move, scale and change the shape of the shadow. We can play around with the opacity and blur to make the shadow look more natural. We can also change the color if we want to. Press the apply button to add the shadow. The shadow steps are not recorded in the undo and redo list. They are attached to foreground. If you change the foreground image in transform, mask or using any other tool, the shadow also will change accordingly. To modify or delete the shadow, we can open the shadow tool again. Use the thrash button to remove the shadow. We will need to use the apply button for the changes to take effect. Since I do not want these changes, I am going to discard them. Our project is ready, I am going to save it now. To explain the blend modes and opacity, let me create a new project. Yes, I want to delete the old project. I want to give the photo a rustic look using the foreground texture. First let me scale the foreground to match the background. The opacity and the blending mode of the foreground can be changed in the blend opacity section. Opacity tells the app how opaque the foreground should be. By default, it is fully opaque. I can change it using the slider here. It is already looking good. But there are other ways to create double exposure. Blend mode tells the app how to combine the foreground with the background. There are several blending modes supported by the app. The default mode is normal. In normal mode, the background is not visible through the foreground at all. But we can try out other blend modes and see how they look. As we can see each blending mode is combining the images in different ways. This one looks good to me. This is making the photo look much more interesting. Let me save the blended image. And we are done. 
that is all in this video thank you for watching